Well, good morning and welcome to day 27 of our Bible Books Challenge. Here we are, day 27. That's over five weeks that we've been doing these Bible Books Challenges as we've been looking at the different pictures. I hope you, you're still really enjoying, if you've been there from the beginning with me, you're still really enjoying getting involved in trying to work out the pictures, trying to work out which books of the Bible the pictures uh, repre are representing. And I hope you are spending a little bit more time as well and getting the chance to look into those books in a little more detail and find out a little bit more about what those books are all about, what it is that God wants us to learn from what was written originally uh, and then applying it uh, to our times today as well. Did you work out the pictures 14 and 15? Well, here they are. Here's picture 14, first of all. What have we got? Poison. There's poison, a bottle of poison on the pew. So what do we have here? Well, we have two, two peas uh, and they're crying. So two peas with tears. Can you work it out from the New Testament books? Sounds a little like to Peter. This is the second letter of Peter. Now we've seen a similar picture, haven't we? When we looked at one Peter, uh, there's also this bottle of nastiness, this skull and the crossbones with its tongue sticking out, poison on the pew to remind us that it doesn't take long for distortions of the true Christian faith to creep into the church, where seats are often called pews. Peter's pleading with the believers to guard against the false teachers, pe people who come in and teach wrong things, distort the truth and try and teach something that is wrong. Uh, and Peter is pleading with the believers to guard against them and to have confidence in the promises found in the Bible, especially that great promise that one day Jesus will return. So that's a 2 Peter and well this next book is another one that is slightly familiar perhaps to you, it's one that we have already done before so it is, it's another letter in the New Testament and it's the second one of the letter and you'll see here what do we have, well we've got a we've got a ship and it's got a stamp on it, a postal ship you could think wouldn't you, a postal ship. I wonder if that sounds a little bit familiar as to who wrote this book, this letter. I think you'll probably have recognised that this one, there's two core, two apple cores, dressed as Indians, two core Indians in the picture on the ship. The book is, of course, 2 Corinthians, and in it Paul defends his own, here we go, his own apostleship, his own apostleship. Uh, Paul was an apostle. And Paul defends what he's doing because some people had doubted him as if he wasn't one of the 12 disciples. Well, he, we know he wasn't one of the 12 disciples and he'd only met Jesus once and that was on the road to Damascus. Now, apostle, an apostle is a messenger, a messenger sent to share the teachings of the teacher they learned from. They are one sent. Can you notice one sent in the picture? One cent is the stamp, isn't it, on the side of the boat? Well, an apostle is one sent to do God's work. Someone sent to do God's work. And this ship has that one cent stamp on it to remind you of this. So Paul was one sent out, a missionary. Paul was a contemporary of Jesus. He came after him. I wonder if he ever wished he had actually taken the time to see Jesus for himself. So that's our two, pi two pictures today, uh, or from yesterday, and the answers to them. So we've got two Peter, and we've got two Corinthians. And now to your next two pictures. Here you go, there's picture number 16, and finally picture number 17. There you go. So work on those ones today. You know what you're doing, you're trying to work out which book of the Bible, in the New Testament in particular, the pictures represent. Uh, and then in the pictures as well, there are clues to the content in the particular book in the New Testament as well. So have a look and see if you can work some of those things out as well. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it, with what we've got today uh, for considering overnight is um, a cow who is weightlifting and a jay that is taking a picture or drawing and painting a picture. Well, I hope you are still enjoying all that you're learning as we go through these books as we do the Bible Books Challenge. Uh, have fun overnight. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with your answers to these particular ones and some more pictures for you uh, to try and uh, work out from the Bible Books Challenge. So take care and God bless.